Hi guys, welcome back to the news. There's this popular saying, the children are the leaders of tomorrow. The youths are the leaders of tomorrow. But then, at this moment, they tend to learn from their elders. If their elders, you know, are involved in wrongdoings, they tend to learn the wrong thing. But if their elders are doing the right thing, then they tend to learn the right thing. Same it applies to our Nigerian youth, the children in this nation. They learn from our leaders. Now, if the Nigerian youth are looking at what our leaders are doing, you, we all know what our leaders are doing, how they are engaged in electoral malpractice. If our leaders are engaged in forgery of results, electoral malpractice, you know, result manipulations and all the rest, corruption, looting, then what will be the fate of the Nigerian youths? What will be the fate of the Nigerian youth in this country? Because they tend to look at what our leaders are doing at this point. Then what will be the fate of the next generation if our leaders don't stop all this now? That's why Aisha Yusuf have made it known that uh, if President Bola had met Tinibu's forgery, you know, since he have engaged in forgery and electoral fraud, it has really provoked young Nigerians like Mesoma into criminality. In her own words, she said, Bola Tinibu's forgery, his electoral fraud, have provoked young Nigerians like Mesoma into criminality. My country people, this is a very big statement made by Aisha Yusuf, a human rights activist, who said on Saturday that the country's flawed electoral system has allowed more pupils to engage in exam practice. Now, we recall that uh, Mr. Keyamo's post, you know, he made a post whereby he was talking about uh, Mesoma admitting that she forged her unified tertiary matriculation examination, the UTME test course. So, Aisha Yusuf was tweeting, she, she tweeted in response to a trend uh, uh, started by the former Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Kiamo. And then the, the, the Joint uh, Admin, Admission and Matriculation Board, JAM, on Sunday had accused Ms. Misoma of manipulating her UTME result from 249 to 362. Instead, the candidate who had insisted on her innocence later confessed to, you know, faking her own result via an independent panel of inquiry set up by the Anambra state government. Now, reacting to the revelation, Mr. Keamo had said that he reserved his comments regarding the controversies over Ms. Mesoma's uh, UTME scores. Mr. Keamo, while describing the student as a very brilliant girl, and judging by her actual score of 249, also cautioned critics against damaging her with their options. What she needs is counseling, uh, correction, and guidance. She obviously did not know the weight and the gravity of what she was doing. And as teenagers, most of us make juvenile mistakes that never came to light, according to Festus Kiamo. But then Miss uh, uh, Yusuf, in an attempt to politicize the matter, said issues arising from the country's electoral system may have prompted people like Mesoma to forge her own results, saying, if Tinibu can do it, then why not they? If our own president, Bolad Met Tinibu, can forge his own results, if the INEC chairman can manipulate results, then what will be the fate of the younger generations in this country? What will be the fate of the Nigerian youth? They are looking at what their leaders are doing, so they tend to copy what their leaders are doing. And now you see, she used... Uh, Ashiwaju Bolad met Tinibu. As an example of it, she said Tinibu is fraudulently occupying the highest political office in the land through forgery, through rigging, and is what is most unfortunate. And has given room for more children to say, Oh, if Tinibu can do it, then why not? We can do it also. Now, you see, the reasons 
Nigerians must focus on the judiciary to do the, to do the needful, her tweet reads. My country people, this is quite serious. The fact that uh, Tinibu now has been used as a case study or as an example of someone who manipulates results, you know, who rigged the election, it is really terrible, you know, for a man like Tinibu, who is the president of this country. What example does it set to the Nigerian youth? And I can tell you that Aisha Yusuf have, you know, come out boldly to make this statement that, oh, see, our leaders, they are not doing well. You see, had it been our leaders are doing well, the youth, they won't engage themselves in any flundulent activities. But they see that their leaders are doing it and they are getting away with it, you know, uh, free. They are not being caught or anything. So they said, well, if our leaders can do this thing, then we can do it also. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Because at this point in time, this is really serious. I mean, a whole president of Nigeria used as an example of a man who is who is known for, you know, electoral manipulations, even the INEC chairman, you know, at some extent, they were calling Mesoma the second INEC. I can tell you the truth. When you go on the internet, it was trending. Where they get to say, oh, Mesoma is now the second INEC chairman because what she has done, wow, has really blown, you know, the minds of Nigerians. People say that, wow, if this little girl can do this kind of thing, have the boldness, the mind to do this kind of thing, then, you know, what will the others do? So my country people, at this point, no one is trying to promote criminality. No one is trying to promote any flundulent activities in this country. But then let's look at what Aisha Yusuf have, you know, really said. You know, I think Miss Oma is a really brilliant girl. She's a brilliant girl. For someone who got about 249, she is really brilliant. But the fact that she manipulated her results and came online, she never knew the gravity of what she did. She didn't know that, oh, people are going to react. And then it got to a point, you know, Jam even said this girl uh, forged her results. Many people did, never believed what Jam said until Soludo had set up an eight-man panel and they investigated the matter and they got to the root of it. And they found out that, oh, Mesoma really, really forged her results. So my country people as they be like this way what are your thoughts on this issue because our nigerian leaders over the years they have promoted all forms of criminality all forms of manipulations you know rigging and everything and you know that the nigerian youth they are watching so my country people i'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section thank you bye for now